Another great tool that we added to this software update was the ability to create cutwork designs. Cutwork designs is, you know, a lot like lace to me because you're creating some freestanding um, aspects to a design and you're really kind of creating that, that, um, that freestanding lace type of work. So it's very difficult to learn how to create cut work designs yourself. You have to understand digitizing, you have to understand what all you need to do to pull it off, to make it freestanding and make everything um, work together so that it doesn't fall apart once you wash away the water soluble stabilizer. So with cut, auto cut work, we've made it really, really easy for you to create these cut work designs. And if you watch the white work lace video, which was another feature added to this software update, you're gonna do it in a very similar way to how you do utilize that tool. So what I have here is a heart. And the heart is a combined object. And what I mean by that is, if I go into the edit, it's two shapes that are, it's kind of like cookie cut and you're punching one shape through another. And so it's empty on the inside. And so really the artwork, if I feel it, it's probably the better thing to do is that allows you to see it that it's this shape right here what you see in the purple and and you really have to have a design that has two sides to it so that you can utilize this tool because you have to create cut work bridges um, and that's what will hold a design together so to show you an example um, I have a design here that was actually created from this heart and so you can see that on this towel um, the cutwork pieces you see here these are holes in here you're seeing actually the towel on the other side um, but this is freestanding in here so these bridge stitches are what hold this piece to this piece here and if it didn't have these bridges this would just fall this wouldn't be held together because there is no fabric between these hearts here so how do you create this in the software is very easy so we have this shape here and we're gonna come down here and we have a auto cut work tool and when I click it you're gonna see it creates a border here and so what I do now is you can see on my cursor I have a little black dot that means that it's ready for me to put in the bridge stitches and I'm gonna click and drag from one side to the other and it's important to go from one side to the other and you just click around the design and putting in where you want these bridge stitches to be and you can go in whatever order you want you can come in and just kind of set it up as to how you want it to work and then you can come back and fill in the gaps. It's really up to you. You have the ability to go in what order you want. You can create as many or as few as you want of these. It is important that you do have them and it's important that you you know, do, and I can adjust them too, and that you do have enough to really support the design. So now, if I'm happy with how this is right here, I just now right click twice and you can see that those bridge stitches are now inside of the design so if I do a slow redraw here you can see that it does a placement stitch and what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm actually gonna stop and I'm gonna cut the fabric out from the inside of, of this shape and because that's gonna be a freestanding and it's gonna do a tack down and then it's gonna start doing bridge stitches all the way around and those are, will be the freestanding pieces and then it's going to do the border around the outside to lock everything together and that's how cut work designs are created in this software it couldn't be easier I don't think we could have made it any easier to create it and create your bridge stitches and put them where you need them to be or where you want them to be and so it's very easy to do and so I'm going to come down to this one this was actually the design that was used for the sample and you'll notice that in this one I have 
a motif fill and I have a motif border here and so I kind of decorated it a little bit but I still worked with that same shape uh, the heart and so if I come up here and I select it and let me bring it back to artwork what I did is I just made a copy of it copied it and pasted it and I took the first one and I broke it apart and by clicking this breakup tool and now what I have is I have two different hearts here so I have an outer heart and an inner heart and once you have that shape all you have to do is I can come over here and convert this to a motif fill and select the motif that I want and that's how I created it with the hearts there is actually the one that you saw in there is in here and I just have to find it so let's see I'm not I don't remember exactly which one it was I think it was this one right here and I needed to increase the size this would be too big but there you go so uh, I created that and then I selected the outer artwork piece and just made it into a motif and I worked with the offset a little bit to get it to show up I used a different motif but then from there I used the original artwork shape and converted it to auto cut work and uh, and that's it and I did it just like you saw before where I came in and added the bridge stitches and then I was done I'm not gonna put all of them in because I just showed you but when I right click it puts in those bridges and that's how I was able to achieve what you see below and very simple to do and again the end result you can see right here came out great and it's a lot of fun it's not difficult to create auto cut work designs in the software as always I can't wait to see what you do with it and we hope that you love this brand new auto cut work feature in the software